Hi guys, Chris Buckler here. Welcome back to Young Entrepreneurs Week. We have Rob and Alex in with us. Thanks so much for joining us, guys. Thanks for having us. Um, how did you get into property? Uh, well, for me, it was... I went to university and I kind of kept my options very open. I did a business management degree um, as an undergrad and I, towards the end of my second year, I started to look at my CV and realise it, it was quite bare. So, um, so I phoned around different, different companies, Savills, um, Knight Frank, and managed to get myself some experience in, and discover that property was something that I was interested in and enjoyed. So. Um, after I finished my business management degree, I went and did uh, a master's in real estate management as well. Um, kind of cemented my, my thoughts that property was kind of the indus industry for me. And then I managed to find myself a, a career in property and that's, that's where I'm currently at at the moment. Okay, and how about yourself? Well, my brother would say that I'm following his path, he's a valuer himself. Okay. So if you were to ask him, he would say, he's just copying me. <laughs> However, um, it's actually quite a similar story to Alex over here. At university, you know, I'd bounced around from different sectors really, not really knowing what really suited me. And I actually went for, for work experience with my brother um, for a few months and I realised that, you know, property was something that I actually found interesting. So after a little bit of deliberating and um, once after being at university <laughs> with this one, we decided to enter into a master's course together in property and that's really where the property journey began for us. Okay, cool. And fast forward to now, you've set up a business which sounds really cool. Can you just briefly give an overview of what that is? Yeah, essentially what we're aiming to do is facilitate joint ventures across the property industry and, uh, and we're kind of acting as the broker, the middleman to allow people to post projects and allow people on the other side to, to find and filter projects according to their investment matching criteria um, so they can filter out specific projects which are relevant to them and their needs um, and essentially we're trying to broker those deals and, and bring, bring a bit more clarity to the whole joint venture process in the industry. Okay, and you are you giving through Rick's accreditation, is that right? Yeah, we are. We are um, at present. We're just coming to the end of a two-year course and just coming up to um, sitting our exams, yep. handing in our submissions, and all through the stressful periods. Yeah. Um, but hopefully, fingers crossed, we make it through the um, through the interviews and pass the finishing line and we'll become accredited just at the right time. Okay, perfect. So that's really good actually because we haven't in uh, so far touched on professional qualifications yeah. before entrepreneurship. How do you think being Rick's accredited will help you guys? I think in the property industry especially, um, accre accreditation gives you a certain a certain gravitas but because there are so many so-called gurus in the property industry offering their, their advice and services and you hear so many different stories of people getting burnt, like I spent £15,000 on some property um, event that someone's going to show me how to make millions with no money down, um, you get you get a lot, of, a lot of different courses like that and if we can offer something alongside our Joint, uh, our joint venture uh, platform such as training or um, advice and blogs that will help people understand how to navigate through the different property pitfalls. Valuations for example is like a key um, a key issue in, in the industry and, and if, obviously if you don't know the value of your property, your land, how are you going to determine whether a deal is good or not. Um, so helping people and enabling a bit of clarification around the whole process and stopping people get burnt as well is, is going to be another important aspect in the in the platform. Okay, cool. So uh, fast forward a couple of months, both Rick's qualified mm -hmm. um, on this full time, which is pretty cool. What advantages do you think you'll have being two young entrepreneurs going into the industry? Well, I think it's um, the main advantage that we hold at the moment is our familiarity with one another. And what I think is our selling point as, a, um, as two people together. <laughs> Um, because we've known each other for how long has it been? I think it's been <laughs> some 14 years. Too long. Dating all, <laughs> <laughs> dating all the way back to primary school. I think the, the flow that we have between us, the bouncing off each other and you know, knowing how each other works, plus being accredited, it will give us that, that advantage in the field and you know, hopefully be able to use that to drive forward. Okay, brilliant. So I, in my last business I had uh, just one business partner um, and we obviously set goals together and all that mm. good stuff. How do you guys go about setting goals and, and actually holding each other accountable? Because you're obviously mates, yeah. but at times you're going to need to have honest, fair, 
um, sometimes tough conversations with each other. Yeah, I, I think, as Rob mentioned, the important thing with us is that we've known each other for so long, so we know our strengths and our weaknesses. Um, I'm more of an overall strategic thinker, whereas Rob is a lot better at the detail. Um, and, and I think that comes together nicely and we support um, our strengths and weaknesses like that. It balances out quite nicely. And the same goes for our RICS accreditation. Whereas I'm specialising in valuations, he's spe specialising in property management. Um, so it all comes together quite nicely. Um, the thing with us is that we know when it comes to the business, it is purely business and, and friendship kind of has to take a back seat and we have to think um, in the best interest of the company so there's no egos, the egos are left at the door. Nice. Um, but then obviously when it's when it's time to play, it's, it's time to play. <laughs> yeah. So we, ha we have a good balance and we know when we know when to when to strike that balance, and we know when's appropriate to have fun, and when's appropriate just to sit down and work through whatever needs to be worked through. And okay. funny enough, the first thing that we did, not with this venture, but the one I think previous to um, previous to this one, mm -hmm. we um, we were reading a book by Rob Dix, and he stated in there that you know if you're going in with someone, you need to make sure all your plans are outlined, all your goals are aligned, and so the first thing we actually did was we printed that off, we sat down in separate rooms and we wrote down our goals and everything that we want so when we're 30 we want to be doing this and you know when we want to be getting out of the company if at all and we came together afterwards and you would have actually thought it was written by the same <laughs> per same person it was um it was pretty crazy you know, that's happened to me before when i set my first agency up uh my ex-business partner said to me hey do you want to set one up and i said well only if we have the same kind of values and the we, we the customer experience it looks like this and we you know and we we literally put them down next to each other and we're kind of dumbfounded but that's great right yeah, yeah it, totally. it's so important otherwise you're kind of just wasting each other's times if you're not wait, working towards the same goal the same ambitions and the same visions there's no real point in even starting off because you're going to separate at some point it's just going to cause a lot more issues than than you need so to clarify everything at the beginning before you even set off on that venture is, is imperative cool last one for me do you guys have a directors or shareholders agreement that's that's something we're actually looking to set up so we've kind of Obviously, budget is a bit tight, so our main budget has gone on producing the website, um, producing an explainer video, um, and they'll all be launched in due course. Um, the T's and C's as well is a big, big thing, and we want to ensure that we're transparent as well, and and everyone needs to to know what what they're getting into before they they join the website and where we come in and where we basically the applicability. Yeah. Um, so there's no shareholders agreement at this point in time, but before the website launches, there will be, and that'll be ironed out as well. Perfect. I, I think it, it wouldn't really be fair to each other, I don't think, to not have a shareholders agreement. I, I think you're completely right. Yeah. And if there's one a piece of advice I can give on this, this mini series, is it's so important to have one. Because whilst you're best friends now, hopefully you'll be best friends forever and ever, mm -hmm. life changes. You might want to go off travelling. What does that look like? One of you might want to set up another side business. What does that look like? Yeah. yeah. So... Um, but what I find with uh, young guys when they set up their own business is, oh, we'll do that in a few months. Right. Right? And then all of a sudden someone's had a kid, they want some time out. So my, my nugget there is get it done ASAP. Yeah, Absolutely. it is definitely important and we have spoken about it. Uh, and there's different options to go around with this. So we can have some sort of staggered, um, staggered shareholders agreement whereby you stay X years, you get X percentage of shares. So, so it's not like 50-50 split from the start because if I if we do that and then I go off two months later, it's unfair on Rob to to do the rest of the work and I still benefit in an equal manner. Um, so it'd be some sort of staggered agreement whereby we collect shares the more we are in that company and the more that time goes on. Yeah, but Rob, it needs to be behind that. No, Rob, Alex, thank you. Two uh, technical answers, very well thought out answers, um, and I've taken a lot from that. So uh, thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.